doing that. You know. Anything but a camera. Right. Yeah. And he, he finished, I think, what was he, fifth or sixth? He had a good run, yeah. but it was it would have been really, really good footage. We could have made oh, it. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm telling you, everybody else got us, you know, I mean, everybody else got us some really good footage, and we're going to have that uh, edited down. With no, I, yeah, and you can't hold anything against the driver. Absolutely not. You know, if a guy says no, I, I, under, I appreciate that. I understand why. You yeah. know, I, yeah. I just, I understand it, and it doesn't hurt our feelings at all. Who is that at Willamette? I, I can't think. Was it Rob Maya that? Well, Rob, um, I can understand why Rob didn't want our because cameras he, on his yeah. car for a while because <laughs> the first two times we put cameras on Maya's car, he blew his engine. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> but so Sam didn't ask Rob for about a year if we could put a camera on his car. <laughs> but you know, Warren was talking about the stacker trailers. You got to remember the biggest trailer there that held nine, but uh, mod lights. What nine mod lights? These now these are a little bigger than a dwarf car. Oh, yeah. and they are different. They're they not are. the same car. No. What do you do? Put them in there sideways? No, you no. had to see the trailer. It was, um, yeah. It was pretty much what, uh, you know, these cup guys roll around with. But he unloaded nine race cars from one trailer. Can you imagine watching him pull in and drop in the gate? Well, the funny one, thing was, two. yeah. <laughs> They're rolling all these cars out. The yeah. funny thing about that was he unloads nine mod lights from this big cup style hauler and then. Off the open trailer comes the the pro stock. You know, oh, is yeah. that right? Size, yeah, the big full size car was on an open trailer, and yeah, that's the only way you could fit them all. Yeah, it yeah. was pretty cool. Those mod lights were I fell in love. Those that, are neat race cars. It's a neat car. I didn't see any posting on on the mod lights. Uh, I just turned in all the photos today. Sorry. Yeah, oh. <laughs> yeah. So we'll get some of those. In fact, if you want to post one of those on. Uh, on Moxie's page. Uh, Moxie, so people know what we're talking about. These yeah. mod lights are they're so not. So I know a, what you're talking about. They're not a dwarf car. They look like a miniature big block modified from the Northeast. Big block modified. You know those big block modifieds where you, you know you sit in the middle and they look like a cross between a sprint car and a late model. Got the left side motor. No, no, not, not this isn't asphalt stuff. Get, oh, out, get back on oh. the dirt world. Uh, I, I'm lost. <laughs> <laughs> well, I actually have a video I'm going to post right now. Yeah, and <laughs> these little things, um, they run a I think it was yeah. a 1200 cc motorcycle engine. Yeah. yeah. No, they run 1,000s. Oh, 1,000s? Okay. Yep. I'm telling you. Mod lights. Flying around that racetrack. Nice. Flying. The cool little cars. Do they have a lot of them there besides the nine that come out of one? Uh, there was probably 14, 15 of them. Yeah. It was yeah. a pretty big class. It was a full field. Yeah, nice. It was pretty cool, but there, there's nothing like that here in the Pacific Northwest, and I hope... I hope it's a class that comes up here because it's something that I would seriously consider getting into. Yeah. They're just neat little race cars. Not like the the dwarf cars where you sit, you know, you got to slide. I mean, you got to get into them, but there there's a little more room in the cockpit. It's more like a I want to say a real race chassis, fabricated race chassis with like a four bar setup and yeah. you know, I mean, pretty cool little cars. And Dom will get this posted up here for everybody to see in a second, but um between those and you know the 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 American stocks. <clears throat> you remember our interview with Nicholas Johnson last year? Yeah, I you do. know the little kid that had the long golden hair, looked like a a good looking version of Spicoli. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, when when he won the Bud Nationals last year, won it again this year. He did, and uh, he came good for him. He came walking by. We're out. That, we just got out of the sign in booth, and we were talking with uh, who are we talking with? Who brought the flags to the? Joey brought Joey yeah. Tanner was at the hotel. He stopped in and uh, grabbed the got in our room and grabbed the flags, brought them down for us as, as we were receiving those. We were talking with some of the local racers, and he Nicholas Johns comes walking by and he looks over and kind of gives the nod. And I'm like, "What's up, kid? How you doing?" And he says, "Oh, pretty good." He goes, "Ready for the Bud Nationals, you know?" And I said, "Man, you grew up in a year." <laughs> and he yeah. goes, "Like, yeah, I'm a lot taller now." <laughs> <laughs> like this kid was. How old is he? I I want to. S- I don't think he's 16 yet. I think he's yeah. 15. Yeah. But, man, again. Great kid. Yeah, he was Fun neat. to talk to. Very, very humble kid. Um, That's cool. Did a great job. Him and his dad were actually racing for the lead when uh, I think his dad and Lap Travis got spun. Had to go deep in the field and still race his way through most of the cars. But, you know, Nicholas drove to the drove to the win and got up on the mound with the uh, the Budweiser ladies. And I think he was having fun with that. <laughs> <laughs> That's the part I miss the most. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, Dom's like, uh, moving on. Uh, no, it was more like, eh. <laughs> So I didn't see this, but Dom and uh, Mike, uh, the, now these Budweiser girls, and we'll post a picture of uh, with the flag presentation. I didn't see it. I wish I would have because I would have taken pictures. I guess one of them, she was, she was like 5'9". You know, well, that was Joel and uh, Mike. Yeah, yeah right. she's not a little girl. I mean, she's, she's in shape. 
but she can tell she's a, she works out, right? I mean, you can tell. She walks under the flag stand, reaches up to the flag stand, grabs it, and pumps out 10 quick no. pull-ups. <laughs> no way. Pumps out. He's, she just, like, whips out 10 quick pull-ups. Everybody's behind her waiting. She gets done in her high heels, walks across the racetrack into victory lane. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> no joke. Oh I didn't God. see it, but Joel and, and Mike, said they just sat there and just their jaws dropped like, what? What? <laughs> what? Joel's like, I can't do two of those. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was, he, he was yeah, quite impressed by that. Yeah, it was pretty yeah. funny. And, uh, you know, again, the the Bud Nationals is just that one show that I really look for. It's not. I, you know, we talk about it all year long. We do. We do. Now, you, you talk about, the, you know, obviously the races here in the Pacific Northwest that mean the most to us, the Claire Cup and the Strawberry Cup. The other race I really, really look forward to is this particular one. Yeah. Yeah, you get a lot of cars. After yeah. you know, after going for the first time, it's something you can just see is is part of tradition now for me. It's something yeah. I have to go to. Yeah, um, it's just a lot of fun. It's just I, it, for such an intense race. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of camaraderie. It's kind of laid back and chill, and and you yeah. know, I guess on our side, I'm not yeah. saying that with you know the racers are intense. Well, yeah, they've got a lot going on, a lot of uh, pressure. But uh, I was quite I impressed with the uh, hobby stocks as well. I never really realized that. They run street tires. DOT street tires. Not like DOT like I run. DOT Cooper Cobra. Yes. Yes. Uh, passenger car tires. Yes. And was, uh, then the, most of those cars are four-door cars. Then they were, yeah, they were metric, G-bodies, all four doors. Yeah. There was 10 in a pack of 14 cars. Yes. And who won the Bud Nationals in a four-door? Nicholas Johnson. Yep. <laughs> <You> know, <laughs> those cars are fast. Yeah, they are. And I was just surprised the whole four-door issue. They were mm-hmm. just like a Monte Carlo. But a longer version. <laughs> but a longer version, yes. Well, you remember when uh, oh, uh, Dave Kingsbury's brother used to run out of Willamette Speedway. The wagon. In those station wagons. The wagon master. Kicked yeah. butt. Yeah. Bob Kingsbury. Bob, yep. there you go. Thank you. <laughs> yep. We didn't see any station wagons this year. No. I was hoping to see that 57 Chevy that runs down there every now and then. I can't remember the guy's name. But there was that six, was it, 65... Caprice or Impala? Oh, man. Big old what a oh, big old This was a big car. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny because we were actually watching that race, and we were walking down the front stretch towards turn four, and Sully and, and Brian Smith were up there announcing that race, and, and, and David Sullivan, Sully, Sully. says, that's going to be the biggest race car I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, this thing was, and it had, it was, there was no paint on it. It was rusted, spray painted number, and that dude was out there just slinging it. Yeah. I yeah. mean, just wow, a big old hog motor. And I mean, it, it, it had to take one and a half car, li- car widths. Oh, my God. <laughs> and lengths. A huge race yeah. car. Oh, yeah. Uh, That's it was boat, cool, man. though. Was that cool. class is, is fun to watch. I really, really, uh, uh, besides, you know, your elite divisions, you know, the late models and the, the the modifieds. I really like that class they have. They call hobby stocks. Yeah. It is a well, real entry have, we level. We used to have a hobby stock. Well, there's there's J cars and hobby stocks. We used to have back in the day. We used to have hobby stocks at Willamette. Actually, they called Rod hobby told stocks. me the same thing. They did. Yeah, Rod told me that they they ran. Remember, I'm a little older than you. Guys. Pump, <laughs> pump the brakes here. <laughs> pump the brakes here. I see it. I see it coming. Correct me if I'm wrong. Back then, they ran two classes. Two classes. They had the J cars, which were jalopy cars. That, they came after the hobby stocks. After the hobby stocks. <laughs> yeah. Here's what I remember. <laughs> and I'm going way back. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> J cars, jalopy, and super stocks. Super, super stocks okay. or super sports? Super stocks. Super stocks. That's yeah, back when yeah. Wilson and Bugby and those guys had the 65 Herb. Chevelles and the, yep. the sprint car wings, and those were called super stocks. So the, the hobby stocks were before the jalopy class. Yeah. Before my time, pal. That's yeah. what I just told you. Before my time. Well, <laughs> Rod and Max Chevelle would have been a super sport. Super sport. Sup- no. No, it would have super, been a super stock. Super stock. Because they ran the Chevelle with the wing on top. They had a super yep. stock, yeah. Yeah, asphalt on the on the weekdays so, and dirt yeah. on the weekend. What yeah. I yeah, Rod's been back and forth, hasn't he? What yeah. I like about um, what I like about that hobby stock class is you look at these cars and you can tell, you know, that's a '77 Nova. You know what you know, they are, that, yeah. But they're aluminum bodies. They've got that right. roof. They got yeah. the stock steel roof and probably with stock the wall. and the stock. Yeah, I think so. With but the, the bodies number. they cut to look just like what they are 
but they're aluminum. And again, a DOT yeah. street tire. Yeah. Yeah, it was quite amazing. In fact, that one Camaro. But they put on a great show. Yeah, we could almost not identify that one Camaro because of the back window. It was the earlier model with the flat back window, not the wraparound. And uh, we're pretty familiar with cars. Yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah. been around cars a long time. Dom and I are looking at this car, and we can't tell this the way it was put together and the slope of the rear. We couldn't tell if it was a Camaro. Or a Mustang. Or actually. a Mustang. It had no a way. Fast, yeah. It had, it had a fast back Shame window. Shame on you it guys. It had a fast back style window. Shame on you guys. <laughs> Very, now, when we, that was when it was on the track. We were watching it. Now, when we got up to it yeah. in the pit area, it was very clear when you see it standing still. But in motion, it was kind of like I was. Well, there's no front clip to identify it. There's no right. rear tail lights or bumper to right. identify it. So you're like, eh. Yeah. Yeah. It was, uh, it was quite different and not only that the quality of cars there you didn't see any junk we really didn't no i mean other than that big old boat was yeah I mean, that would be the the car that i would say was at the well, bottom it probably of the wasn't even junk yeah realistic it, it just sat around for a long time yeah, yeah. <laughs> or, or it might have well, appeared maybe, that way maybe it, it was retired been. for a while right and yeah. maybe they just painted it and put some patina on it but brought out it brought that's kind of what i'm thinking but uh, you know all the cars there all the modifieds all the anything like the dung beetle hot not yeah that's what i was thinking yeah <laughs> It was a sleeper, but you know yeah. what? Yeah, what a great bunch of cars. Yeah. That's oh, cool. Yeah. Um, fun, fun, fun class to watch. I really, I wish I, we had a class like that up here just because I think it's it's a good mix of not just entry level, but advanced, you know, kind of the the transition. Mm -hmm. It's a great well, transition from a what would we, we would call a, uh, I don't know, a street stock to a, yeah, race car. But you here's know. the thing. <laughs> that was why that Hornets were introduced. But mm -hmm. now we're having that fear of that blowing up into a $20,000 car class. Well, yeah. we have we saw that at the yeah. uh, the big one. And I had about five minutes to talk to the Yimka guy. He gave me some things to think about. But the Yimka guy? You, you Paul know? Better? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he gave you me should five know minutes. his name. <laughs> well, he gave me five minutes of his time. So it was yeah, quite that's... interesting. To... Hey, you got five minutes of Paul Vetter's time. <clears throat> You're fortunate. Most wow. of us get Take 20. Take it to the bank. Most of us get 20. You only got five. <laughs> yeah. You did good. <laughs> hey. If you're listening, Paul, love you, buddy. He's serious as a heart attack, Paul. Yeah. <laughs> Paul is it, it, He's one of the guys uh, we look forward to getting down there. And yeah. I, I love his wife. <laughs> oh, she is a character. Well, and again, at Vegas even last year. Yeah. You know, she's she's not afraid to, to rough us up. She's not one. Bit. Yeah. Those are great people. Unfiltered. So can I release that, Joey? Can I say what you're you're putting out here? Because he says he's going he's gonna stop by and grab his shirt. He's heading for X Factor on Saturday. He's gonna stop by and grab his shirt. <clears throat> says he's getting a new one. Sam says, So what color are you going with, Joey? I'm getting a new one. He says, I'm gonna be different. New one car. He announced that he would uh I saw something on Facebook. He said he was selling the one eleven. I think. Don't quote me on this. He's and he had a new car lined up, and he guaranteed he was going to be at Bakersfield next year. Yep, going to be at Bakersfield next year and, and do some stuff. But he says he's going to be different. No more blue. Wow. I like the blue, Joey. Oh, I like the blue one eleven too. I like the blue yeah. with the black wheels. It just looks wicked. Yeah. Well, I like it's it. moxie colors too. Well, uh, I'm kind of biased. <laughs> I'm kind of biased. Oh, now that you now I mean, that you put it that way. <laughs> yeah. Heck, Corey even got me buying blue tennis shoes for the. Yeah. the <laughs> That's true. That's true. The I had, I had the a master pair of, manipulator. I got I got myself some blue tennis shoes when I was there. Uh, I got me some Skechers. <laughs> Suckers are comfy. No, I got cheap imitations of his. No, you, <laughs> those are those well, these are, are nice shoes. Ones. But um, <laughs> so anyway, so Joey's going to be in a new shoes. X Factor. <laughs> He's going to be in a new X Factor, and I'm I'm curious to see. Is he getting the XR one? No, he's getting an X Factor. Okay, the ones that are built here in Oregon. <clears throat> Interesting. Red, black, and silver on the 111 next year. Nice. Red, black. <clears throat> That'll be now. He's going to debut that at, obviously in, in, at the car show. At the car show. Yeah. Because Joey knows if he doesn't show up at the car show, he's not going to show up at the racetrack. He won't be able to. He won't. He, he'll be yeah. a missing person. Yeah. Yeah. That's the way it's going to be. Yeah. <clears throat> um, I don't probably find him in Oildale 
somewhere. Maybe in turn, five, five turning into oil. <laughs> five different parts of the city. As I was following his post as he was coming home, I heard he lost his wallet. And oh, I, I saw that too. He found it. He turned around and went back and he found it. I think, I think his crew guys probably played, played a joke on him. And yeah. Uh, I, I don't heard know. Three of